Hi guys, uh, this is the Innovative Minds Tutor. Right, in this video guys, we are going to learn about a linear fraction equation. Right, you may notice um, in examinations, uh, if we can take a look at uh, May, uh, May, is it January, February 2022, um, exam had something like this. Yes, you can see most of MIP 1502, they do have a, a, a linear fraction. Just take a look at your exams uh, as you practice. So, hope this video will help you to, uh, on how to solve a linear fraction. Yes, so without wasting time, let's get to today's video. Well, um, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. You only subscribe once. Right, let's start our video. Right, so we are given a, a linear fraction, guys. Yeah? So when you are given a fraction, the rules of a fraction is that when there is an addition or subtraction, you must find an LCD. LCD, guys, we talk about the lowest common denominator. So in this case, we are going to have um, x plus 2. That's what we are going to have, right? x plus 2, it's what we are going to have in this case. So, it's x plus 2, x minus um, 4. That's what we are going to have. So, when you are here, no? um, first thing first, just say 3 divided by x plus 2. And you multiply by the LCD. The whole fraction is multiplied by the LCD, which is x plus 2, as well as x minus 4. So when you are here, so when you are here, we can see that we we have common um, common uh, denominator. We have common brackets there. We have this x plus two and x plus two there. So let's go to the second fraction then. Five divided by x minus four. You can also multiply by x plus two as well as x minus uh, four. So let's go to the other part, which is equals to. 2. So that 2 will be multiplied by the LCD, which is x plus 2, as well as x minus 4. Are we together? Are we together? Okay. Let's now cancel that uh, uh, similar parts. We have something similar, x plus 2, and x plus 2 will cancel. We'll then cancel them out. Then we're left with 3, x minus 4. Okay. We are done with um, solving a fraction. Plus, so we have x minus 4 we have common brackets there x minus 4 we get rid of it so we have 5 as well as x plus 2 then we also have this part the left the right hand side so we have uh, x plus 2 there as well as x minus 4 so the third part it will be let's work out the brackets guys 3 times x that will be 3x 3 times 4 that's minus 12 so 5 times x, that's 5x. 5 times 2, that's 10. Okay, remember that this multiplies this, and this multiplies this. Right. We use what you call a dolphin method. A dolphin method. Can you see we have two dolphins there? Matt, it's interesting, guys. Okay, so let's go to this part. We need to work out this the, the brackets first here. So let's we'll use a foil method. x times x, that's going to be x squared. Then this 2 times x, that's going to be 2x. Negative 4 times x, that's going to be negative 8x. 2 times uh, 4, that's going to be minus 8 here. Okay. Mm -hmm. let's, let's see what we did, we did right. x times x, that's going to be x squared. Uh, we also said that 2 times x is going to be 2x. 2 times 4, uh, we also said it's going to be minus 8. Okay. So, so far, so good. We also said, okay, we said just x times x is x squared. 2 times x is 2x. And we also said that negative 4 multiplied by x, that's going to be 4x, not 8x. So, it's going to be minus 4x here. 2 times negative 4, that's 8. Yes, we are fine with that. We are fine with that. But let's work out the brackets. So let's continue. 2 times x is 2x squared. But let's work out these like terms. When you say 2x minus uh, 4x we are going to have uh, minus 2x here so we will cancel this we are going to have minus 2x because 2x minus 4x is 2x 
So 2 times negative 2x there, that's going to be minus 4x. Then we have 2 times negative 8, that's going to be negative 16. Okay, 2 times negative 8, it's going to be negative 16. It's still cool. 3x plus 5, that's going to be 8x. Negative 2 plus, uh, negative 12 plus 10, that's negative 2. It's the same as 10 minus 12, which is minus 2. Okay, right. That was the left hand side. Let's let, let me just I should put this here, the equal sign. Let me just work it out. Let's work out. So we will make this uh we collect the like terms. We have 2x squared, then we're going to have 2x squared. What we should do here is to take 8x to the other side. So it's gonna be minus 8x mm -hmm, minus 4x. This 4x remains the same. So we take negative 2 to the other side. Remember that we have minus 16. Then when you take minus 2 to the other side, it becomes positive 2. So remember when you change when you transpose a number, it changes the sign. If it's negative, it's going to be positive. If it's positive, it's going to be negative. Very important to take note of that. So we have um, 3x squared here. Okay. 8x minus 4x. What is that? 8x minus 4x. That's going to be minus 12x. Then negative 6 plus 2 is the same as 2, 2 minus 16, which is minus 14. Okay, then we could divide everything by 2. Divide everything by 2. So 2x divided by 2, 2x, 2, uh, 2x squared divided by 2, that's going to be x, x squared. 2, uh, negative 12 divided by 2, that's going to be minus 6x. Uh, negative 14 divided by 2, that's going to be 7 equated to 0. So we should, we should, we should, we should factorize then. Second step, last step is factorization. Factors of x squared is x and x. Factors of 7, that's going to be 7 and 1. So to, to, to get to minus 6x, 7 must take a negative sign. Remember that when, you're, when your last term is negative, you're going to have different signs. So we're having negative 7 plus 1 here. Negative 7 plus 1, that's minus 6x. Then that's minus 6x. So uh, neg that's minus 6. Negative 7 times 1, that's negative 7. So that means our, our solutions are correct in this case. So we are going to say 7, x minus 7 equated to 0, or x plus 1 equated to 0. So take this minus 7 to the other side, it becomes positive 7. Take uh, 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 1 to the other side, it becomes negative 1. So guys, it's also it's advisable that you, you go back here. You go back and substitute. Where you see, where you see, where you see uh, x, you, you can put... 7 here you could just say 7 plus 2 uh 7 minus 7 minus 4 remember punch put 7 here where there is x you will see that you get 2 you also have to check also as well if it gives you meta error that means this doesn't exist but if they give you two both of them they do exist hope you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe and like and remember we love you